Hello everybody, welcome back, and I am the Tronic today ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if my streaming software thing is working, but today ladies and gentlemen is my birthday, so I decided to do a little quick hour birthday stream, okay, for the post game of Pokemon, I have not done the post game yet, so I have no idea what happens in the game, but if you guys have not seen it yet, go ahead and go back and watch my entire let's play of this game, I made 18 separate parts, it was a pretty lengthy session, it's about 30 minutes per part, so if you guys ever want to go binge those, I would be very thankful for all that. But anyway guys, since this is my birthday, I decided to start off the post game uh, just a little hour or so. Because, you know, I am tired, so I'm not going to go for too long today. I don't know exactly how long the, the, game, the post game is. And as for like the main game, my review for the main game is that... It was okay. I, I feel like it was nothing special, to be honest. The greatest thing I liked about the games were the stadiums and the design of the cities. That was a, that was about it. Like, that was, like, the greatest thing about it. It was, like, the design of certain things. The stadiums and the cities, which gave it points. But ultimately, the story was kind of eh. The characters were kind of eh. And overall, I just feel very, well, eh about it. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hold on, let's see if this is working, uh, dismiss that, okay, let's see if this is working, I don't know quite yet if it uploaded to YouTube, so everything I just said might have not even been working, oh wait, hold on, maybe, oh, uh, oh hello there, could you hear me, could you guys hear me? It seemed that the, the it seemed that the stream right before this one failed, so y'all have to post it in the comment section below whether you can hear me or not. I'll get right into the game though. Oh, you can. Okay, good, fantastic. Thank you so much, Mr. Uh, Chris Carr. I appreciate it greatly. Okay, so I have not done the post game yet, but and now I can't even hear any of the audio. That's crazy. Obviously, you could tell. Of course, I don't stream very often because I still every single time I go to stream I do not even get the <laughs> I always have this problem where I, I'm always worried people can't hear me and stuff like that so I don't know okay I what I did do already in the post game was the first thing I did was go over to Leon's house over here and I found a Charmander but that's about all I did I didn't do anything else after the post game so I have no idea where I'm supposed to go but I heard that you're supposed to go to the Sildering, to the, the forest over here, the Sildering Whale, the something whale over here. I forget the name of the actual place, but hold on. Let me look at my team real quick because I don't even, oh, Eateranus. Oh yeah, that's right, right. I put him in my party finally. So this is my team right now. I did get rid of Mr. King Kong, which he was the starter, the Grookey that evolved all the way up to a Rillaboom. But I, uh, I... Relieved him of duty. I put him back in the box and that is will he remain because I personally I didn't like any of the starters So that's that's also something I didn't like about these games is that the starters were kind of trash to be honest Rillaboom was probably like the best normal looking one out of the three. That's just my opinion I mean Cinderace was okay, too It's just that that Sobble really got me dude like I, I would want I wanted Sobble originally, but once I saw his evolutions, I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> like, they could have made him look anything different. But, oh well. Some people are going to like the evolution. Me, personally, I do not. You had a Tyranitar in your t first playthrough? Or in your playthrough? Okay. Cool. Yeah, Tyranitar is my favorite Pokemon. So is Bisharp. Those are my two favorite Pokemon of all time. Bisharp and then Tyranitar. Just because I'm a... I love Dark-type Pokemon and steel type pokemon those are my two favorite typings so tyranitar and uh bisharp are like my two favorites so every single generation i always have those two on my team uh they have to be the two out of the six uh and every, every other position can change of course but bisharp and tyranitar i always try to get those two on my team because those are my favorites so anyway hold on let me i don't think i even need to heal up my pokemon but let's do that you named him godzilla nice okay hold on why can't I even hear the audio coming through? That's weird. Could you guys hear the game audio coming through on your end? Because I can't hear the game audio coming through my end. 
I guess I'll just have to play without the music, pretty much. But if you guys can hear it, at least you guys got it. Thanks for waiting, Eternatus and the team look good. Thank you, Miss Nurse Joy, I appreciate it greatly. Let me go out this way. Your Godzilla fan? Oh yeah. Dude, Tyranitar, when he is a Dynamax Tyranitar, he does look like Godzilla, dude. It's freaking massive. Like, I, I literally said that during my uh, playthrough also. I was like, yeah, let's send out Godzilla real quick. Because that's literally what he becomes. That's what, honestly, I probably should have just nicknamed him Godzilla. Wait, what did I, what did I nick? I think I'm calling him Dusty, I think is the name. Yeah, Dusty, because Dust I gave him the name Dusty back in uh, Alola as well. But Godzilla, yes. That would be a good name for him, too. I definitely put that. Just because it's Dynamax, too. I wonder if he has a Gigamax. Do he have a Gigamax for him? I have no idea. Let's go to the Slithering Weird because I heard that part of the post game is here. I don't quite know, though. But yes, again, let me see. Hold on. You might hear noise in the background because I'm trying to check to see if... Uh, wow. Hold on. I'm surprised, like, the, it's not coming through. That's weird. Oh, you know what I think it's coming through? Oh, it's probably coming through my, uh, my microphone. So that's why I can't hear it. Interesting. Hold on, let me take my microphone out. Did anything happen? No, that did not happen. Okay, sorry. Technical difficulties. But I'll just keep carrying on as, as such. I mean, you guys are already here. I'm not gonna, like, restart the stream or anything. Okay, I gotta, like, <laughs> juke all these Pokemon. I'm on my way. Now, the thing I'm kind of upset about is why I can't just delete this backpack off the back of me. Because, to be honest, I hate all these gigantic backpacks. Like, could, couldn't could they just make a normal backpack for the male character? Like, that's the only reason why I'd want to play a female in this game. Is just because her fe because the female has a normal backpack. <laughs> Whereas the male has a really ugly looking big backpack on their behind. They're just like, that's the only reason why I'd like go on a switch. Plus like in like the DLC, like the, the female has a really cute outfit. But besides that, like, yeah, it's just like the biggest thing, the flaw about the male character is like the freaking backpack, dude. Because usually in video games, I like to, you know, make myself like, you know, green eyes, brown hair, you know, try to make my character look like me. But like... If, if there's something like, you know, this backpack that is just irritating me, like, it's big enough reason to go, like, di you know, be different and go, like, the female or something. But, um, but yeah, I'm pretty upset about that. I wish they, maybe in the DLC they'll allow the male character to have smaller backpacks. That would be fantastic. That's, like, my biggest issue. Plus, I think, I think they have less, like accessories and outfits and stuff I think in this game compared to uh Alola I'm not so sh sure but like I don't know the exact numbers but it seems like they have less customization in this game who knows maybe you guys could look up that those details okay no one's here whoa hop is here I was gonna say like nothing's here but I heard okay okay so hop is here okay let me look at my Pokemon real quick I'm gonna guess that he's gonna try to battle me Hmm. Okay. I really want to see... Wait, hold on. Let me move my mic one more time. And let me see. You're probably going to hear a bunch of bumping. Uh, can I hear it? No, I cannot. That's so weird. Oh, well. I don't know why I can't hear it. That's crazy. That's never happened before, actually. Let me close this. Let me open this. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh well, I guess I'll just have to go with this then. I don't know why it's not coming through. That's so weird. That is so freaking weird. I can't, I don't understand why I can't hear it. That's crazy. Okay. Well, I'll just have to get past that for now. Let's battle hop. I'm guessing that's what we get. Okay, <laughs> he looks scared. Huh? The Chonic? What are you doing here in the woods? Uh, yeah, what are you doing here in the woods, Mr. Hop? 
Nobody ever comes in here, since this is their forest where Zaxian and Zamata- hey, I will never be able to say those names for the life of me. Is the best place to do a bit of thinking, since it's so quiet and all. You say you felt like something was calling you here, Chornik. That's me. That's pretty uncanny. Hmm. Oh, but I hadn't had the chance to tell you congrats on your victory, the Chornik. Oh, thanks, Hop. Honestly, the Chornik, I never thought you'd manage to beat my brother. The greatest champion Galar ever had. He was undefeatable till you came around. It's actually still pretty hard to believe. Really? You're amazing, Torrent. Oh, thank you, Hop. I appreciate it. So amazing, maybe, that I don't even realize just how amazing you really are. Okay. Okay. You don't need to talk about me that much. I know. I already knew how good I am. Would you be up for one more battle? Uh... I should have said why. Why? <laughs> Thanks, the Torrent. That showed me the strength that defeated Lee. Indeed. I'm ready when you are to say the word. Uh... Yeah, let's let's do this. This will be a serious battle, uh, of course. Hop, though, I don't know. I just don't see him as a really great character. Like, he just... I just feel so bad for him, you know? He just never accomplishes anything in the game. Like, he just... You know, he's trying to live up to his brother's legacy, and us, his rival, just kind of crushes that. As well, like, he, you know, kicks him out of the tournament as well as defeats his older brother and takes the throne and stuff. Like, I just... And he doesn't really do anything. Like, what's his resolve? Uh, double... You know what? Let's use Dynamax Cannon. I've never even seen this move yet. Oh my god. Like, that would kill anybody. Look at that. Look at that animation. Look at that attack. That would kill someone. Like, Double Wool is dead. I don't care what you say. Double Wool is dead with that attack, dude. Oh my goodness. Hello, Ethan McNeil. Welcome to the street. I don't care what anyone says. That would kill someone. Full restore. Ugh, no, hot, dude. What did we talk about the entire series? Don't use potions. It makes you look weak. But now that he used potions, now I have... All the right to use potions myself. He's the one that used it first, though. Ditch, ditch, two. Double. Dude, double edge. Ugh. Come on, Eater Nat. It's your gigantic legendary Pokemon, and you're letting this little sheep not die? <laughs> you know what I mean? Let me use Dynamax Cannon again. Is that just Dynamax Energy? It just unleashes? I'm sorry, that's a murder ray. That's like a death ray. That's like freaking a Death Star freaking cannon right there. That would destroy the Earth. I mean, after all, he was gonna destroy the Earth with the Darkest Day or whatever and cause all these Pokemon to explode and get bigger. And cause the grounds to crack open, like... Literally is a death ray. And he's not killing Double in one hit. Snorlax? Okay. Let's send out Kirby. Kirby? Okay, so, Phalanx is my favorite Pokemon from this generation. He just looks so freaking... He looks like a bunch of Kirbys. Look at him. You also, oh, I guess Meta Knight, too. Like a Meta Knight Kirby kind of mix. And there's like a bunch of them, like, just marching in the back of like little soldiers. <laughs> anyway, they look really freaking adorable. Close combat. Get him. Yeah, Snorlax, you can't take that. But yeah, he, I definitely say that Phalanx is my favorite from the new generation. I, haven't, I don't think I've even seen every single Pokemon from the new generation, but so far, after beating the game, Phalanx is my favorite. I don't think they added too many good-looking ones, but definitely Phalanx, uh, they were right with that one. Corviknight's okay. Corviknight was a good bird. Uh, I don't... Is fighting good against Steel? I have no idea. <laughs> Gamer Zeta, face reveal. Uh, eventually, okay, give it a good time. Honestly, I probably would, but I don't have a good camera, so I would like y'all to see my beautiful face in high definition eventually but yeah it's mainly due to do the not having a good camera or webcam or anything uh, but eventually maybe maybe i am thinking about it you know i've opened up to revealing more stuff about myself as well as showing my face uh what was selling out corbin knight i think he was sending out corbin wait no ground's not gonna affect that 
Okay, does fighting effect steal? I have no idea. I think it I think it does. I think it does. I wanna say it does. Wait, is there anything else that's good against it? I don't really have anything else that's good against steel, I think. Well, I guess flamethrower. Hey, let's use flamethrower. I have no idea if fighting's good, so I'm just gonna like be safe and use flamethrower. Okay, um... Hmm... I'm always looking at the stream again. I need to start streaming more often, dudes, because... I'm always like so concerned about like the quality of the stream itself as well because I barely stream. <laughs> I just made videos, okay? <clears throat> Flamethrower. Okay, that should ah uh, didn't kill Corviknight? What? Scary face. Come on, Eternatus, you're a gigantic dynamo No, you should not be affected by that. I'm sorry. Corviknight, yes, he's a scary looking bird, but like you're a gigantic dragon Pokemon. Okay, what I don't like is that they scaled the Pokemon down. Like, look, Eater, like I could ride Eternatus back and he could barely hold me. Like, you see how much they scaled Eternatus down? Like, I don't like that. To me, that's not quality. They need to keep him, you know, at large, dude. His true size. I mean, I know, like, Whale Lord would just take up the entire screen, but they gotta be realistic. I swear, like, it just... It doesn't feel right with them being shrunk down. You know what I mean? It just doesn't seem right. I mean, even in uh, the the Dynamax battles, they make them bigger. You know, like I'm like they could do it here. They could just make the area a bit bigger. I I don't know. You know what I mean? Pokemon needs to make more changes next time. Camer Cramorot? What Pokemon is that? I have no idea what, what's a Cramorot? 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 I'm gonna be safe and use Hawkeye. Uh, I think. Is it the octopus? Cramorot. No! It's not the octopus, it's the bird! Ugh! No! Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm fine though. Uh, drill pick. This bird is ugly. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know when when Pokemon's in their like design team when they're having their little meetings and they're just like, yeah, that looks like a good Pokemon. Like what? No. That does not look like a good Pokemon at all. It looks like a normal bird. Kind of an ugly looking bird. I guess like the neat thing about it is that it can throw things at you with its beak, like that right there. But that's about it. It looks like an ugly bird. Like, I'm, I'm never gonna use that. Like, the bird has to look dope. It has to look really freaking cool. Like, Corviknight, yeah, it's my kind of Pokemon. It's Steel-type. But that bird, it's ugly. I'm never gonna use it. I'm sorry. Did it just dive again? Are you, are you serious? Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be able to hit it, am I? I'm gonna use another drill pick. Can you just dive? That's a Pikachu? Oh wait, does he use a Pikachu when it's... I think he uses a Pikachu when he's low on health. Hey, goodbye Camarot, Camarot, whatever your name is. Mallow is adorable, Master Yoshi thinks. I, I, I completely agree with you. Yes, I uh, I created that thumb, or not thumbnail, sorry, my profile picture myself. And uh, I added the ebony armor to her but in like a different design because like my original mascot was the ebony warrior from skyrim you know the ebony armor that you get um that's always what i wore when i played skyrim and skyrim is like my favorite game of all time so the ebony armor the ebony warrior was like my mascot basically and uh eventually <laughs> malo came along and into our lives and uh obviously i love malo so i morphed the two together because i am a you know half Elder Scrolls channel, half Pokemon channel. I morphed the two together, and so now we have a Pokemon Skyrim kind of profile. You know, Mallow wearing Skyrim armor, which I felt was so cool and so cute at the same time. I didn't even see what he said. What Pokemon did he say he was using? I'm gonna use knives, though. He's gonna send out, like, something like... Like, what is he gonna use? Uh... 
Pinchurchin. What type is Pinchurchin? What? Uh, is this the Galar form of that one thing? Um, I will just poison jab it, I guess. What type is Pinchurchin? Hmm. Did it just throw a Pikachu from its mouth? Yeah, it did. Hello, Flash Legend. Welcome to the stream. Uh, did I miss anyone else? I chose seven months play of this game on my channel. Oh, did you? Nice. But honestly, I hope you kept it a sobble because anything more, it would have looked ugly. <laughs> my opinion, I guess, but uh, it's the truth, okay? Sobble. I just, I really wish Sobble had a better evolution line, dude. I really wish it did. Because I wanted to pick Sobble when, you know, the only the first evolutions were revealed, but then it had to go mess it up, you know? Swords Dance? Mm. Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, swords Dance. Should I get rid of Night Slash, Iron Head, Poison Jab, Shadow Claw? I guess... Wait, hold on. 70, 70. It's basically the same thing for these two. I'm just gonna get rid of Shadow Claw. Give me some Swords Dance, thank you very much. Gracias. Antillion? What? Okay. Uh, do I have any electric attacks? Wait. Oh no, I have Mallow. I forgot. Ha! Ha! Come on, Serena. Aka Mallow. I named her Mallow for obvious reasons. Mallow's strong legs will crush all who stands in her way. Antillion? Actually, I'm gonna use Leaf Storm against you. Actually, no, I should've used Trap Kick! Ugh. This, the legs sh could've returned. The Leaf Storm. Gonna, yeah, I was gonna say, that was gonna destroy him. Goodbye, Antillion. Get your ugly looking butt out of here. No one likes you. Except for the Sobble fans out there. <laughs> it's the truth, okay? I have my opinion. You have your opinion. But, uh, all the are all the, st all the starters, my opinion, are ugly. But Rillaboom was, like, the least ugly. So that's why I picked it. I didn't expect there to be such a gap between you and me, mate. Oh, dude, there was always a gap between us. I mean, you never, never won. You never achieved anything, which um, is kind of sad, honestly. I feel like they could have written a better rival, but... Oh, well. So there is really no way I could ever beat you. I mean, you even beat my unbeatable brother. Oh, it's Sonya. Oh, God. Am I going to have to do the female voice? I apologize. Okay, hold on. Oh, hello, Arturo. Welcome to the stream. Electric, I think. Did it just throw a picture? Okay. Oh, oh the typing was electric. The pinch urchin, probably. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. Master Yoshi, yeah, uh, all starter revolutions are disappointing. Okay, I extremely apologize, but this is a thing I have to do. I have to uh, speak. Because uh, I wish they really would have added voices in Pokemon, to be honest. Because now I gotta imagine what they sound like, and now you guys gotta hear me speak like them. Okay, so I apologize. And if it isn't the two of you again, I was wondering what all the noise was about. If it isn't Sonya. Lachonic, congratulations on beating Leon. Uh, thank you? Oh yeah, I forgot, she's a professor now. She's, uh, she got promoted. Taking it all on stride, like, it's your due, eh? Indeed. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be off assisting the professor? Hop! Hop! Look at her face! She's so sad looking. Hop, I'm actually not working as my grand assistant any longer. Oh yeah, right, Hop wasn't there. It just zooms in on her face. That's freaking awesome. They know exactly what they're doing. In fact, I'm the professor now. Oh my goodness, look at her full of herself. Look at her, look at her, she's so happy. She's so content with her life. You are? And really, I've got the two of you to thank for that. I was just along for the Ryan of your adventure. Okay, you know, I'm not going to speak in this voice <laughs> for, for the entire time. I was just going to get annoying. And I came to care for Pokemon even more than ever had before. 
<laughs> it's so hard speaking of the free mobiles. Ah, uh, here. It's a book I wrote. I even signed it. That makes it a collector's item. <laughs> that's what she sounds like. I swear to God, that's what Sonya sounds like. You obtained a copy of Sonya's book. Sonya's book? What's it about? It's about the darkest day, probably. Her new discoveries about the Galar region's legends are recorded in this enjoyable read. Okay. I don't read books, though, Sonya. Thank you for the book. And I guess I could, if you ever get famous, I could sell the book later. <laughs> but I don't read books. Hop already has his own copy lined up to buy it the day it came out. Ah, oh, thanks, Hop. You're so sweet. I'll sign your copy for you later. Oh, my God. Anyway, I've got my grand's blessing and put out my first book under my own name. Oh, wait, di did you not write it yourself? Was it your grand's name? Or did your grand help you with it? I think you can expect great things of a lovely professor- Wait, no, 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 no. That wasn't her, that was, uh, Hop that said that. <laughs> oh, the lovely professor Tony in the front. Wait, wait, who's saying this? That's what I'm saying, like, they need to add at least, okay, Put Hop's name, dot dot, right, the semicolon, and then say the dialogue because I, I don't know who's talking right here. Because look, is she talking in third person or is Hop talking? That's why they need to add voices, dude. Ah, god dang it. Come on, Pokemon. Add, vi add voices. It's freaking console now. It's freaking console now. Yeah, I expect so. Sony on the Tronic. You both amaze me. I've got a lot to live up to here. So, what are you youngins doing here? Oh, er, uh, right, uh, that's it, isn't it? Oh wait, is she talking? See, I can't, dang, I can't tell! You were putting the rested sword and the rusted shield back here in their place. What, uh, really? We were? Can't just keep holding on to them forever? I mean, we could. We could hold them on to the- I don't know why we would. I guess it makes sense to put them back here. I mean, after, you know, we already saved the world and everything. We were! Yeah, that's exactly what we were doing. We were just about to do that. <laughs> All right, Hoff, I was, I was just as much confused as you were. You forgot entirely, didn't you? What, you think the two of you are besties now with Zach Singen and Samantha? Or something? I don't know how to say those names, dude. They need to make- Freaking Pokemon's names easier to say. Legendary's names easier to say. We got freaking Xerneas and Zygarde and all sorts of crazy names. That er that must be it. The Tronic. Why you felt like you've been called here? I, I, I only felt like I've been called here because people told me to. Let's put the sword and shield back and say a proper things for all the help. Maybe if we do, we'll get to see Zaxi and Zamata Santa Pataka someday. Okay. Is that right, uh, Sonia? Uh, I don't have the best memories of something weird, but I came to do a quick investigation. Hurry it up and put us Okay, jeez, Sonia. Jeez. Go, go, shut up. Okay, let's put this stuff back. Put the short and view back and say practice thing. Okay. Are we, are we actually going to catch the legendaries now? Return the rusted shield. I do like the links, Mr. Flash Legend. I do. Oh, dude, I want a shiny. Oh my god, if any of you find a Phalanx shiny, please tell me and trade it to me. I will love you forever. Okay, please. I would, I would kill for a shiny Phalanx. Zixai and Zamata Zenta, thanks for the. Thanks loads for helping us out. Took us a while, but we've brought back your precious relics and all. Eh, they're just rusty old relics. You and Hop return the rusted sword and shield. Honestly, I feel like just the backstory could have been so much more. You know what I mean? The dogs weren't ever involved, and then when they were involved, it was unexplained why they were able to cut Eternatus's um, power to, you know, keep people from attacking it or whatever. Like, that's never explained. All right, that's that about settles it. Trying to, uh, what are you gonna do, Sonia? I think I'll stay here a bit longer. I want to do a little bit more research here in the forest. Oh my God, Sonia, chill. My power spot detector is going off. 
Oh, whoa. Hello. Well, well, well. I thought I heard someone making some noise over this way. Here are these two guys. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my god, it's supposed to be a shield and a sword as their hair? <laughs> Why have I not seen this on Twitter? Why has no one posted about this yet? That is the weirdest freaking looking hairstyles. Who the heck are these guys? Well, 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 you wouldn't be the Professor Sonia who wrote the book Gallery of History. Uh, hello. You bought my book? Why, yes, of course. Read it from cover to cover. Why, yes, of course, I even wrote an internet review for it. That offer book was filled with lies, so we gave it to one star. Jeez, these guys are buttheads. And their hair is terrible. Like, who? Okay, in the design team, did they really come together and be like, yeah, we should give these guys these hairstyles? Uh, like, especially that guy in the blue. <laughs> like, if you just make those edges, uh, like, more circular, like... It's gonna look like something completely else. What? There are no lies printed in that book. That's just plain rude. I am s s so sword ward. I am Shieldbert. <laughs> Very clever. We are the new kings of Galar. We're descendants of the first kings. What? The okay, why wouldn't they show these guys earlier in the game then? Why, why would they save him for the post game? More than that, we're celebrities. New kings? This, okay, well then how do I. We did not even see them once during the story. New kings, descendants? Seriously, what are you talking about? Like, yeah, like, none of us know who they are. So, how. What? What exactly are you two supposed to be? Well, well, well. Could these things here be the fabled sword and shield? Well, well, well. They certainly are dirty. They must be fake. I fear to touch them with my bare hands. Sword were took the rusted shield. What? Oh, rusted sword and rusted shield. Hey, don't go nicking those. We just returned them. Oh, do shut up. <laughs> oh, God. Dang, savage. We only happened to pick up some things that were dropped on the ground. If you've got a problem with it, how about you prove to whom they belong, hmm? But there's no way anyone can prove who those ancient things belong to. Even if we can't prove it, they're really important. Yeah, they just belong to the legendaries. Oh, goodness. Such a ple ple plebeian, and yet so pushy. If it's really so important to you, perhaps we should settle this with a battle. We're celebrities who buy battles for twice what they're worth. What does that even mean? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> What is most of the things they say in this game? What does that even mean? I, the Magificent Shepherd, is a mere opponent. Okay, at least you have slightly better hair than your brother. Pokemon Shield. Pokemon Trainer Shieldbert. So fetched. Oh god. Alright, let's. Okay, Eternus, let's just destroy him with a Dynamax cannon. Okay. Get rid of his hair, too. Maybe you could cut off some of his hair. Make him look normal. Dynamax cannon. Yeah, like, wh what did the, like, the design team thought this was okay? But, like, hey, you know what? Yeah, the shield, shield hair and the sword hair is, like, amazing looking. You know what I mean? No. No. It just makes him look stupid. Oh, you know what? My Pokemon aren't even healed from the last battle. Oh, he only has four Pokemon, though. Dragon Pulse. Yeah, use some Dragon Pulse. What? Okay. I thought I could hear the music all of a sudden. I was like, oh my goodness, I could hear it now. Yeah. Uh, Bronzong? Okay, let's use... Kirby? Actually, let's use Mal, because Kirby... Ah! I'll, I'll use, I'll use Mal. Mal has high jump kick. It's Zashian. Oh, Zashian. Not Zakayan. I always call it Zakayan. Zashian Zam... Zamazenta. Zamazenta. Wait? That's so hard to say, I'm sorry. 
Uh, so Zashihen and Zamazenta. 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 That's, that's so. No, I like Zama. Z I, I can't say it. Okay, whatever. I'll just call him Sword Dog and Shield Dog. Okay. <laughs> High jump kick. Those two guys are jokes. Celebrity status outweighs champion status. Is what annoys me. What? Oh, so they think they're just better than me because they're celebrities. Or because they're descendants of the kings? So those two kings were actually real back then. And these are just descendants of them? They have really goofy hair though. That would that's just I'm sorry. Like they seriously need to get haircuts if they wanna be the kings of Galar. And also not, you know, rude. Okay, oh, she, okay, he's using Phalanx. Ah, oh, Hakai is, hmm. I guess I should keep out Mallow here. Because at least he can't do anything to Mallow in her glorious legs. Use Leaf Storm. But, um, nice. Um, I asked you if you liked Flinks only to find out you have a Flinks on your team. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, did you not see that? Yeah, I, I even said that Flinks was my favorite new, new Pokemon. He's like my favorite from the new generation. Um, Drop Kick. Drop Kick. Get him. Yeah, yeah, slap that Flinks off into oblivion. Bullets. Hmm. How long is the post game? I wonder. Clink clang switch. Uh, now let's use Kirby. Yeah. I named him Kirby. If you didn't hear me say that before. Yeah, I named him Kirby because he looks like Kirby. A bunch of little Kirbys. A little bunch of Meta Knights. Look at them. They're so cute. Tick. No more warm ups. It's time to beat you, Hollow. I mean, warm ups. I backed you into the corner with a weakened team as it is. Clink clang level 60. Why doesn't anyone in this game have a full team of six? Close combat. Oh, of course you use protect, you bastard. I hate people that use protect, they're weaklings. If you have to protect yourself with that move, I have no respect for you. Close combat again. Hell yeah. So steel, okay, so... Fighting is good against steel. So fighting is good against rock and steel? And normal. Three different types that it's really good against. Level up, level up. Excellent. Egg. Excellent. Speaking of eggs, we probably have some more eggs at the Pokemon Nursery. With a bunch of little avatars. Hawkeye grew to level 65. Yeah, get out of here, Shield Bear. Get your hair out of here. Cut it. What the heck was that? He was like, demonized. Oh, how can this be? My, my Pokemon. $8,000 for winning. Why did he just grab his face like that? He took the back the rusted shield. Teh, <laughs> to somehow have been defeated, but the adorable Pokemon I go throwing with is certainly strong. However, it be okay, of course Hop loses, poor guy, like, I'm sorry, Hop. How could you lose to this man? He only probably has four Pokemon, who are all like level 60 like this guy is or. And yet, Hop, you had a full freaking team almost. I could, maybe he only had five. I forget. But still, you, you lost to this guy? You lost to that man with that hair? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, Hop, poor guy, I, I, I really feel bad for him because he has like no purpose and he's just kind of annoying in this game. Sorry the Chornik, I lost to him. Wahaha, something on your mind boy. You weren't concentrating at all during our battle. Hmm. Younger brother, isn't that the one who stopped Eternatus? Oh, now that I look closely I believe it is. What a rude child, snatching up our chance at the glory like that. 
according to our sources. I believe he was also present during the destruction of the magnificent mural our ancestors so artfully created so many years ago. What the garnish brute destroying the mural of family What have you not heard who actually destroyed the mural? <laughs> what? Mural? You mean the one that hid the historical ruins of Mezata Zenta and the others? And hold on a moment, the Chonic wasn't the one who destroyed it. Let us withdraw for now. Next time you shall bring Pokemon to the other if you do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, let's do that. With that, farewell. Wait, stop! Give us back the Oh yeah, they still have the sword, don't they? Dang. Oh, that kid. He's gone and rock his sleeve. Gone off. <laughs> what what I start speaking in a <laughs> British accent? At least you're gone, the Jonic. I expected as much- Okay, okay, I'm switching up my voices now. This is terrible, guys. I'm surprised that Hob lost to someone like that. Like, that's what I said! He looked upset about something during the battle. Maybe that had something to do with it. His own rival became the new champion, and his goal vanished before his very eyes. I guess that did happen, yeah, that's true. I guess maybe he's be distracted by that. You can't help but wonder how he feels about it all. Anyway, so, so God, I can't say these names. Swordwood and Shieldbird, was it? I think I might know something about where those two have gone off to. Shall we go over at the lab in Wedgehurst? Um. Uh, should I be worried about Hop? Uh, uh, of course. I bet I didn't even need to ask. Thanks. What you, what you trying to say? Hmm? Okay, we'll meet up later then. I'll head back to the lab. Hey. Okay. Let's see what you said. Uh, da, 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 da. there is a new meme going around with Fling's never-ending marching, just like the. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that. So I saw a bunch of Fling's like memes where like it just like yeah, like it kind of just marches and plays to like different various songs. I think that's the one you're talking about. I agree. I do like those. Because Phalanx is my, like, favorite. I'm guessing Phalanx is also your favorite as well. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. All right. I'm surprised they never, like, introduced those two characters, though, be you know, before the actual ending of the game. It's like they just randomly show a guy with a shield, shield hair and another guy with a sword hair, which I would never have one to see on any person. That is just really disturbing. They honestly could have just made like, the guy have like a, a shield pin on his shirt or a sword pin or, you know, a certain outfit that looks like a sword or a shield. But no, they freaking make their hair? Like what? Why would you do that? Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes. Bum, 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 bum. Look at that team. Look at that team. We're gonna do, th we're gonna do great. We're gonna do things. Hope to see you again. Oh, you wanna see me again with injured Pokemon? How dare you say such things, Nurse Joy? Wait, hold on. Uh, bye. Do I have enough? I guess I do have enough Ultra Balls. I think I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Goodbye, mister. Let's go. I think we were supposed to go to the, to the, uh, Professor's Laboratory. Yes, that's what it was. Okay. Also, the bikes are disgusting. That's another downside to this game. I just ran a squirrel over. That squirrel is dead. I'm sorry. No, it's not going to fight me. I ran it over with my bike. It's, I'm pretty sure that's roadkill. Okay. Look how happy he is. Look how, his little, little chubby cheeks. I would have squashed it though with the bike. Not gonna lie, that's the actual reality of what just happened. Okay, nope, 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 nope. I I'm trying to get by. Okay, did I just? Ooh, I did a wheelie there for a second. Look at that. They should have added. They should have added. You know, having wheelies in the game that would have made riding the bike a lot cooler. Honestly, yeah, they need to change the designs of the bike in the next game or in the DLC or whatever. 
But if they do have an X game or whatever, yeah, yeah, that it, it definitely get rid of this backpack because it's freaking ugly. Uh, is this where were we supposed to go, or are we supposed to go to Wedgehurst Station? Um, I have to get going, but I have a good one. Keep up the good work. Oh, thank you, Mr. Flash Legend. I wish you the very best. Wait, were we supposed to meet her in her room? Wait, where, where was Sonya? <laughs> Sonya, where are you? Wait, I thought she said meet back up, pick back up at the lab. I thought that she said the lab. Or was it the station? You know what? It was probably the station. I will go. What? What is this way? Oh, it's a Pokeball. I, d I completely did that not by accident, but I found a choice band. That's cool. Alright. Let's get to Sonya immediately. Remember how I used to think that was like Serena? <laughs> oh my gosh, they keep making Serena remakes. Ah! I keep running into people. Dude, I would literally kill people. Oh, I killed that fox. Nigget. Swiper, no swiping! Get away from me, Swiper. I need to leave. Leave! Come on! I need to run away. I didn't want to battle a little level 7 Nicket. I don't got time for such matters. Okay. Let's go this way. Alright, I think she's in the station. So I'm gonna go check the station. It... Okay, for a second I thought that Wulu was glowing, but it was it's just the light shining on it. Honestly, what I also need to do is check out these different buildings. Uh, wait, where's the station at? Down? Oh, it's probably down here. Okay. This could have been a lot faster, probably, if I didn't go all the way to the freaking lab. What? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you gotta help me, because I have no idea who Sonya is. <laughs> oh my god. Have you visited Leon's room? Yes, I did. I did vi visit Leon's room. I got the little Charmander. That's that's the one thing I did in the post game that you didn't see here. I actually, what I should do is probably raise it while we are doing. The Wait, is this the lab? The lab? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. This is a lab. I completely forgot what this building was. This is a lab. Not Magnolia's house. Ah, oh, my goodness. I got. I at least we're on the right track now. Hmm? Professor Sonia, you have a visitor. Hey, Lechana, glad you're here. Who's this random girl? Or, <laughs> who's this? <laughs> She's my assistant. I've been so busy with research lately that I'd bring on some extra help. Some, so you just got some random, random chick? I've been keeping all the wishing stars that Chairman Rose had been gathering here in the lab. Things have been a little hectic around here, but my assistant has been handling things in a proper fashion. She's really been helping me keep things afloat. I really haven't been doing that all that much. You're the Chonic, the champion, right? I'm glad to meet you. It's an honor, truly. It's an honor. Come here for a moment, would you? There's something I want you to have a look at. Whoa, hey now. What are you going to show me, hmm? Got dark. Oh, you remember my power spot detector, right? It detects places where Dynamax is possible. Basically, when there's a high concept... Okay, okay, I can't, I can't keep doing your voice, guys. I'm sorry. And that's how I figured it out. The power spot detector reacted when those two got close. Um... Wait... What, when, I don't know what she's talking about. Follow the readings from the power of to take, you might be able to find those sword and shield weirdos. Oh, okay, so she's basically saying that, yeah, they do have some, some importance to do with Dynamaxing. Because they're the descendants of the kings. Dot, dot, dot. 
Swordward and Shieldbird might claim to be royalty with their weird fancy names, but it's easier to just call them weirdos, don't you? I agree. Thank you. Yep. Let's call them the weirdos. Sonya, I completely agree with you. Let's get back on topic, though. I placed the power squad detectors all over Gala, and now it's their time to shine. What the heck is she doing? Holy crap! She's like fidgeting! Jeez, Rasanya, chill out. Okay, you okay? You're having like a seizure? What's going on? Power spot detectors access! Jeez, cal calm down, Sonia. Jeez, you're scaring me. Holy crap! You can't fly there yet. Okay, whoa, well, okay. Uh, where am I supposed to head to? Head to Wedgehurst Station Pokemon Research Lab. Uh. That's- I'm already there. Whoa, whoa. That's a way bigger reaction than I would have thought. Looks like it's coming from Turfield Stadium. Oh my gosh, Sonia. Calm down. She looks so in distraught. You could always Dynamax Pokemon at the stadium, so that's not exactly unusual. But these readings are way bigger than normal. It can't be Ether Nadis. You already caught it. Maybe it's something related. Oh, could I use the Eternatus to soak up all that Dynamax energy? You should go check it out, the Chornik, since you're our snazzy new champion. Oh, oh, thank you. I've set up the town map to show you where the strong pact is over. Should you talk too much, Sonia, please? Okay. <sighs> yeah, stare at your chart, which tells you nothing but this bunch of squiggly lines. So, Magnolia is not going to be in this lab anymore, I'm guessing. The whiteboard is positively covered with notes from top to bottom. Okay, cool. Uh, I think we're good to go. What about you? Uh, to have a doctor at such a young age, she's a major person. Of course she is. Yes, she's an amazing, amazing woman. Now let's go find out what's going on at this gym. Uh... Actually, I'm gonna fly. Town map. Uh, where is it? Oh, Turfield Stadium. Let's do this. to be boxing. Anyway, let's go find out what is going on. Oh, hey, it's the Milo and Piers. Hmm. Oh, wait, no, oh, sorry, his voice. Hello there, champion. So you came. Uh, what's going on here? Huh, how carefree can you be? You're the new champion. You're bigger than a Dynamax Pokemon right now. I was actually in the middle of an exhibition match with peers. Exhibition matches? Even after the league is over? Well, I guess, well, duh, that would make sense, but why would the gym leaders have exhibition matches? Huh. I guess that's cool. Then, this Dynamax Pokemon camp charging it. The audience and staff already took shelter. Okay. That doesn't sound very good. I got every- oh, hop! Seated on the north side of the stadium, evacuated. You must have heard, right? More Dynamax Pokemon are running amok. Much obliged, hop! I expect nothing less from a gym challenger I knew we could count on. Lost in the semifinals, though. Ah, the Tronic! I chased those red and blue guys and saw them head into Turfield Stadium. Then I heard that up and there's no way I could leave it alone. I had to help out. I'm sorry, but you got lost in all the thought of the rush. Hmm. There were suspicious characters you saw are concerning. But for now, I think we should get this Dynamax Pokemon to settle down first. I'd be glad for your help against such a tough-looking opponent, the champion, Chori. Um, of course. Alright then, let's head to the pitch. I'll land ahead too. I don't blame the Pokemon, of course, but I'm just a bit muffled they upstaged me. You come too, bro of the old champion. I don't think much I can really- Oh, poor Hop. If I come along, I might just end up slowing the rest of you down. 
Oh, dang. Hop is in a huge amount of depression, dude. Holy crap. I don't think, you know, the guy, I don't think Ling would be all lost about this. Though, he does get actually lost a lot. You coming? Okay. Poor Hoppy's all in depression. Pierce might look scary, but he's great at looking after others. He's a big brother, after all. Alright, we should get going. Let's do this, Milo. It's cool that they have the gym leaders, like, have kind of like a post-game story with them as well. Oh! Max raid battle? With a giant Serena? Okay, that's my favorite grass-type Pokemon. It's all because of Mallow. Okay. Serena's my favorite grass-type. Uh, now we have to battle a giant one. Wait, hold on. Should I use a giant, you know, Mallow versus a Serena? Or should I... Wait, I can't even use it. Okay, whatever. Look at Iranus, he's so tiny! He's so tiny, he's a little tiny dragon. Uh, I guess Crass Poison. Super effective, oh yeah, this would be super effective, I guess. Keep Idranatus out here, oh, she took a slapping. You ain't no Mallow. Snipe shot her, yes. Good job. Although, I don't know why he would use that move when it's not gonna be effective. Max overgrowth. Oh, you're dead, Hop. Yeah, good night, Hop. Good night. Oh, poor Hop, dude. He probably feels so useless. I wish that they would allow you to have gym leaders as your companions for those, like, NPC max rate battles instead of giving you some random freaking NPC trainers. Like, why can't they just give you, like, whoever you want, you know? Because, like, those NPC trainers would have, like, the stupidest looking Pokemon. Like, even sometimes a magic heart. Like, why can't you choose who your NPC allies are? Like, they need to... They should have had that happen, dude. Okay, I'm making even more negative points because they don't have that. Okay, another cross poison. I'm just gonna keep cross poisoning her. Maybe she'll be poisoned by this. Throat chop. Hell yeah. Hmm... Is this some random Pokemon or this Miley's Pokemon? <gasps> what the hell was that? Oh, she almost killed Eternatus. Eternatus is just such a little dragon now. You gotta grow. You gotta go and be strong and bigger. Wait, who can Dynamax now? I guess not me. Alright. Let's cross poison again. This should kill her. Oh, maybe not. Dynamax Cannon can cause critical damage to Dynamax Pokemon? Really? Oh, well, thanks for telling me. I mean, I, uh, I will use it next time. Because that beam is a death ray, I swear. Like, it's, it's a Star Destroyer beam. It would kill a planet. That's what it looks like. I honestly thought it would just murder anything it touches. Milo used a revive? Oh, on on the little on the little Serena. Yo, it looks like things finally calmed down a bit. This Dynamax Dove, no matter how many times I see it, mm, still don't like it. I can see your dislike of Dynamaxing still has a change, Pierce. Same. I don't like Dynam Dynamaxing either. We're on the same par with that, uh, Mr. Pierce. You agree? I do not like Dynamaxing either. But there was definitely something off about that Dynamax transformation. There wasn't any trainer anywhere. And the Pokemon seemed like it could have even controlled the power itself. Or couldn't even control the power itself. Quite right. Normally a Pokemon needs to respond to a Dynamax band in order to Dynamax. But... Seems there was some sort of discord in the harmony between trainer and Pokemon. Huh. Did you feel anything unusual, Butchorder? Uh... I did. So you noticed something was off too. There's no trainer to be found. This really is a mystery warped in enigma. I guess I shouldn't really say that like this is unusual because Eternatus already did this. The same freaking thing. 
So I'm guessing since I have Eternatus, couldn't I force Pokemon to evolve or can I can, can I control them with Eternatus? Like they, maybe that should have been an ability like Eternatus can control Dynamax Pokemon or prohibit certain Pokemon from Dynamaxing. That's all about Eternatus' background as a legendary, so when I sent out Eternatus, why couldn't I just like... I feel like that would have made more sense, lore-wise. I could just control what Serena here uh, does, or maybe make it, force it back to a normal size Serena immediately. But of course, you know, story purposes, uh, that would not work, I guess, for what they're trying to tell. Because they're trying to make you fight these Dynamax Pokemon. So, if you're instantly able to win a fight just by having Internatus out, then that would be no point to having these battles. I'll make sure Turfield Stadium takes good care of this Pokemon for the time being. Oh, so it's not his. Huh. You really helped me out here. Thanks for that. And the Chornik. If you should ever need my help, free for you to call me anytime. Oh, a Rail League card? Milo's rarely card. Wait, so can I use him for max raid battles or no? Because it sounds like that's what he's saying. All right, Dad, follow me, little Serena. Little Serena. That's what I tell people. I always call them little. Ew! It's that guy with the hair that is disturbing. Well, well, well. Looks like that Dynamax of nonsense has calmed down. Well, 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 the champion is expected. Why are they here? Ah, it's you two. I knew you'd be here. Give this rusted sword back. Well, I never. It's not like it's something that belongs to you either. If it were yours, we wouldn't give it back. Wow. Wow, these guys are... That's thievery. People need to lock them up in jail, dude. What's with these two? Arg, get over here so I can battle you. Who are these guys? Spectators and staff should have been evacuated. The normal rules simply don't apply to us. Oh, wow. Because you're celebrities, you get away with everything? Yes, that's what it means to be a celebrity. Oh, yeah, he even, he even freaking says it. What? Yeah, like, okay, if none of us know who the hell they are, then they're not celebrities. Who is this ruffian to question us? You're just someone with strange tastes and hairstyles. Wait. Wait, who's talking? Oh, it's probably Pierre's talking. His entire style is complete black and white nonsense, isn't it, old brother? Oh, they're talking about him. Yeah, no, they're still talking about... Okay, they're talking about Pierre's. I mean, I would say Pierre's hairstyle is, is better than those two. Because at least his is, like... I, I would almost say, like, more normal? Because it's it's like ponytails with with you know bangs out the front, okay, and it looks kind of cool with the whole like outfit that he's wearing. But these guys, they're just in a suit and tie, right? Suit and neck necktie, and then they have like a sword and shield based hairdo, and it just it just so off putting. It's not the same as like how Pierce has his hair. But it seems our experiment was a success, young brother. Quite, quite. Next time, let's uh, try out the Dynamax and even stronger Pokemon. Yes, yes. At last, we shall reveal the true nature of Zaxian and Zamanta Santa. What was about? What was that about? Ooh, despicable champion. We're going to keep letting Dynamax Pokemon run wild. Dude, people, where's the police? <laughs> More like celebrity bottoms. And with that, the farewell. <laughs> so you are the ones who caused all this. Stop. Calm down, Hop. You don't act that. You gotta act so hard. But they're getting away. Yeah, and they could be leading us to a trap. It's a bad idea to run in unprepared. But still. Oh, fine, I'm right, I get it. Good. Let's all calm down for a second. Thanks to them running their mouths, we know that they're trying to dynamax Pokemon. And that they plan to continue doing it. Uh, I won't allow it. Yeah. It's no time to hang hung up on getting back the rusted sword. The tornado appears, we gotta stop these two. Indeed, Hop. Don't be depressed, okay? Be happy. Oh, there we go, thank you. He just smiles when the moment I say that. Thank you, Hop. 
See, Hop understands. Good. See, we hop, smile, and everything will be fantastic. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, well, hold on. Dynamax can't. Oh, no, no. Encounter World of the Dynamax Pokemon in the post story. Oh, so you're saying that I'm probably gonna have to go to every single gym, probably? And Dynam and fight Dynamax Pokemon. Oh, it's gonna be so freaking repetitive, dude. Is that their way of having a long post game? Is just for you to do the same thing over and over and over again? How are those two making that Pokemon Dynamax without any Dynamax fans? Uh, okay, so it has to do with probably the blood that they're you know. Their kings or whatever. Why would the kings have Dynamax in their blood? See, that's something that's a plot hole as well. Or maybe they're making Pokemon Dynamax because of those relics. Because of the relic, you know, the, the sword. But that's also not explained. Why does that sword and shield have Dynamax power to it? Why? See, th there's too many plot holes. Too many plot holes. Wait, where did they say they were going, though? Where are the red and blue bots gone? Uh, uh, yeah, let's look. Because I don't think... Okay, wait. Oh, Sonia. Oh, she's angry. She's angry. Oh, there you are, the chronic. Things are a pro... pro I can't... I, wow, I butchered her voice again. There you are, the chronic. Things are a right proper mess. Just though, just when I thought... the. Gala particle count around her feel had calmed down. I started getting huge gallon particle feedings from Hillberry Stadium Moto Studio. Of course. Yep, yep, you're right. You're right there, Arturo. Looks like it's gonna be a long post game of just repetitiveness. So, what exactly happened at Turfield Stadium? Explain exactly what happened. Exa <laughs> exaggerate what happened. Uh, exaggerate what happened. What? A Dynamax Pokemon completely destroyed the stadium? Hell yeah, it did. Wait, Terrafield Stadium is still there. Oh, but on the inside, it's completely destroyed. Huh? Those Sword and Shield weirdos did it? Mm-hmm. That's what happened. Oh, Sonia. Hmm, Hop and Pierce. Pierce, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be... They should just add freaking voice lines so I don't have to freaking say it all myself. Okay? I'm an ex-gym leader. I can be wherever I want. It's not that- Oh! So Marnie did take his place then! Because I beat her in the semifinals, so she no longer can be champion, so she- Yeah, she probably finally was like, okay, I'll be the gym leader. Obviously, they're- they're building this up to be the next game. It's gonna be like Pokemon Guillotine and Pokemon Gun or something like that. And then they're gonna- <laughs> And then they're gonna have, um... Marnie be the dark type gym leader and uh, Beatty be the fairy type gym leader like you know, that way they change it up a little bit I could already foresee this I already saw this coming from a mile away anyway during my let's play I can be wherever I want it's not that weird more importantly you said there were Dynamax Pokemon at other stadiums yes I'm getting the same readings in other towns as I was from the turf field stadium I'm worried about Marnie oh well, no you shouldn't be worried about Marnie because Marnie's the stadium at you know that that doesn't that's not a power spot, so you shouldn't be worried about Marnie. <laughs> Look how he slowly turns his head. Uh, but Spike Moth Gym should be okay, right? I'm only seeing readings from Hillberry Stadium, Motostoke Stadium. Ah, I see. Well, yeah, it, plus there's no power spot in Spike Moth, so I don't know why he was freaking out. People were being forced to Dynamax and running wild. There's no way I can simply sit by and watch. What do you say, the Uh, I want to chase after those weirdos. Even if I want to go after them, we don't... Yeah, I want to chase after them and cut their hair. That's what I want to do. Then we'd be doing everyone, this whole world, a service. Even if we want to go after them, we don't know where they went. Leave those two... Weirdos to me. I can poke around the net of sightings for them. We'll leave the researching to this year, Sonia. We'll sit. We should get to the other stadiums and help out. There's way too much freaking dialogue. 
We should just get right to the freaking mission. Are they just gonna- are you guys gonna just stand there? And, uh, as I'm walking off, you're just gonna- Bob the Builder! Hey, is that the champ- Here, is that the champion? Here, here she is, it is Bob the Builder! Oh my goodness! I haven't seen you since episode, like, 15. Bob the Builder. He makes- he makes an appearance! In the post game. If someone's in trouble, then I want to help. Blah, 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 blah. Are you guys coming? Uh, stick. Oh yeah, they do stick out like a sore thumb, especially that guy with the <laughs> giant freaking, you know what to call it, sword on his head. Okay. Oh look, Bob the Builder. Wait, there's another Bob the Builder. Bob the Builder is everywhere, my dudes. <laughs> oh my goodness, if you guys watched my Let's Play, you would know exactly what I'm talking about. I would. Milo does more than just work in the fields. He raises beautiful flowers, too. Well, are you selling the flowers, Mr. Bob the Builder? Okay. Alright, let's save. Okay, let's heal up the Pokemon. What? There's a wannabe Bob the Builder by that wheel cart. <gasps> There's another one! And another- Wait, this is not the real Bob the Builder. This is a phony. This is one that wants to be Bob the Builder. This is a real Bob the Builder. Is the female more female looking one? <laughs> I used to think this was the male, and that this was the female, but I was completely wrong. <laughs> I guess this is the male, and this is the female, but, uh, you know what? I think they're both males, because look at that nose. Wait, hold on. Let me go over here. See that nose? That's a Bob the Builder nose right there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bob the Bo Builder was a re-healer. Re real hero. I was just a healer. Real hero and king of Galar. Okay. Let me heal up the Pokemon. They freaking have Bob's your uncle, too, as a freaking Easter egg, as a freaking hint that Bob is really part of the legend. Okay. How crazy would it be if Bob's your uncle is the actual king? Uh, welcome, champion. Uh, I don't think I need to buy anything. Yep, all good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's been a good time, but it's already been 72 minutes, it seems, over an hour of streaming, and I got other things to do, I'm tired and stuff, and uh, it seems like it's going to be pretty, pretty repetitive going to each gym, but we will come back and do this live stream again, maybe tomorrow or later, you know, next week, so thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it, can't wait to see you guys in the next one, I wish you all the best. And peace off. Thank you very much.